In this challenge, teams had to create a story that is a tall tale. The story must include a narrator and an exaggerated character with a hyperbolic trait. Each team will enhance this trait with a theatrical embellishment that will be created using technical methods. Teams will also use a scientific analysis to determine if the exaggerated character could, still, could actually have this trait. Teams also have to have two team choice elements that show off their interests, skills, and talents. Now I am pleased to present the intelligent crafters from Texas! <laughs> Yes! Appraisers, are you ready? Round our world! Team, are you ready? South, North, East, or West, Intelligent Raptor, Lord the Best! Alright, your time starts now. Hi everyone, welcome to my show, The Space Odyssey. I am your host and narrator, Mr. Apocalypse Wenson. Do you know why the planets in your solar system look the way they do? Let me tell you a tale on how it all happened. To take you across space and time today, we use the OTP. Don't worry, not the one-time password to hack into your accounts. <laughs> it's my Odessi Tele Time Portal. Soon after the Big Bang, a superpower emerged from the dark energy of the universe. He was first of its kind to travel across space, feed on galaxy dust, and rest in the middle of burning stars. He was named Tenop Regnich, or Tenor for short. I am Tenor. My purpose and trait is to transform planets in need. This is a Lumen Oscar, a powerful embellishment that's built to help the speed. This cryonetic wheel spins with cosmic grace, guiding me through the vast space and to travel across space at blazing speed. The silver will make the galaxy disk is all I need. For an endless supply of energy, I gather these dense white cores from the galaxies. These stars, four from Rocky's black hole, generate infinite energy from these white cores. To activate a Lumen Oster, I blast this cosmic coronet. <laughs> and chance felt so unique in my own Shings of language that I speak. Penner's transformation started 240 million years ago when he heard a cry for help from a, from, a, from a wobbly planet. Hey there, planet. What's your name? Hi there. My name is Sock. Wait a minute. Are you Tenor, the space hero everyone's talking about on my space rocks app? Yeah, it's crazy how many rock scribers I get in there. That's where I saw your post and called for help. Where is the wobbly dobby? Oh, I got hit by a space comet and then I lost my balance. Oh, I see. Let me help you rebalance. Here is an icy ring. When you wear it, it'll stabilize you. Let me activate the ring right now. Use my cosmic cornet and my shing spell. spell. <laughs> shing shao shao shabi. Din do shu shabi. Shing zi bing ti protect the ring. Thank you, Tenor. I'm not wobbly anymore. Those icy rings look so very nice in every direction they are piece of ice. The rings may soft, light, and bright. Those no space circles dare to collide. The rings of soft turn and turn. So when it's soft, it comes the Saturn. After that, Tenor heard another cry for help from a nearby planet named Water Mars. Hey there, planet. I heard your cry for help. Do you need a corn steal your candy? No, mate. My mom's a pool party without control. The teacher has to put the anti gravity button and I'm just flying away. Oh, oh, I see. Let me help you. Let me let me drain the water away from you using my great galactic gopher from Lumen Oster. No way! 